Hey everybody, Kristen here. As you know, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. And today, per your request, I'm gonna share with you how to make scalloped potatoes using your Instant Pot. That way you can keep the heat out of your kitchen or save your oven for preparing your other holiday entrees. So let's get cooking. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna butter a seven by three or a seven by four inch cake pan. Make sure you don't use a removable bottom or a springform pan because your sauce will leak all over your Instant Pot. And then to this pan, I'm going to layer in four cups of thinly sliced Yukon Gold potatoes. You could use russet potatoes. You wanna peel your potatoes and you wanna use a mandolin or a very sharp knife or your food processor fitted with your cutting blade. And thinly slice your potatoes so that they're no more than an eighth of an inch thick. Now for our bechamel sauce. Scalloped potatoes are made with a rich, creamy sauce. We're gonna add cheese today, so technically they're au gratin potatoes, but I don't think anybody's gonna complain. And we're gonna make it on the stove top because using the saute function for this in your inner pot, it's just a little bit too high heat and it can make your cheese sauce curdle. So we're gonna head over to the stove and this is gonna come together very, very quickly. Melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter in a heavy duty small saucepan. Once your butter is melted, add in two tablespoons of all purpose flour. You could use a gluten free one to one flour ratio. Combine that until a thick paste or a roux forms and cook off for one minute. Slowly add in a half a cup of vegetable broth or chicken stock until nice and combined. And then slowly whisk in two cups of half and half. To season, add in one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves. Just hold the stem and pull down the leaves and drop into the sauce. Grate a little bit of nutmeg over the sauce, about a quarter of a teaspoon, and then whisk until that's nice and incorporated and your sauce thickens. We're looking for it to coat the back of a spoon. If desired, add in one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, totally optional, and then whisk to melt. Now that my sauce is ready, I'm just gonna pour this over my potatoes here. And then you just kinda wanna Spread your sauce around. You can even use your fingers to kind of press it down just so that it goes all down the potatoes. It'll kind of submerge into the potatoes here as it cooks. You know what would have made more sense? Would have made more sense for me to layer half of my potatoes, then pour half the sauce over, then layer the rest of the potatoes and pour the sauce over rather than trying to stir them. But you know, Live and learn on camera, right? Now I'm going to top with additional cheese here. Totally optional, but cheese doesn't hurt. I have sharp cheddar cheese, the same cheese I used in the cream sauce here. I'm just gonna sprinkle that over my potatoes. It's always best to use freshly grated cheese just so that it melts nice and even. We do want to cover this with foil. That's going to prevent any condensation from leaking down into that delicate cream sauce. Water plus cream, not a good idea. For pressure cooking, we're going to pour in one and a half cups of cold tap water. Whether you're using a six or eight quart, Place your trivet inside your Instant Pot. Pop your scalloped potatoes on your trivet. We're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure our venting knob is pointed towards sealed. To set the cook time, hit manual or pressure cook and use the plus or minus buttons to adjust until it reads 40 minutes. 
After the cooking time has elapsed, let pressure release naturally for at least five minutes. Then you can do a quick release of any remaining pressure, or you can also just let the pressure release naturally. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. And you wanna open up your Instant Pot. You can see a little bit of water on the foil there. That's why it was really important that we covered with foil. And you want to carefully remove your scalloped potatoes and remove the foil here. Oh, it smells so, so good. Now you can see that it's nice and creamy and cheesy and the cheese has melted, but it doesn't have the prettiest presentation. So what I recommend doing is popping this under the broiler for about five to 10 minutes until it's nice and crispy and golden brown. If you had an air fryer lid, you would set it to 400 degrees and cook for about five minutes and that'll give it a nice crispy crust. Obviously remove the foil first. So I'm gonna pop this in the broiler and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. Okay, I've broiled my scalloped potatoes. They look much more company worthy or holiday dinner worthy. And to make them even prettier, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of the reserved fresh thyme leaves over the top of the um, the scalloped potatoes just to give them just a prettier appearance. And let's dish out this cheesy, delicious goodness here. Oh, look at that cheese. I'm gonna go in for a bite. Oh my word. This was seriously so easy and so much better than preparing a box of scalloped potatoes. The homemade sauce just really, really takes it over the top. And it took us, what, five minutes to make, if that. All right. Mm. It's cheesy. It's creamy. The potatoes are falling apart soft, but yet they keep their pretty structure. That's the other advantage of using Yukon Gold potatoes. Over russet potatoes, russet potatoes tend to fall apart a little bit more. Still delicious though. But man, that thyme really, it just adds a nice flavor to the scalloped potatoes. They are absolutely perfect. And they also pair perfectly with my Instant Pot Honey Baked Ham, which you can catch in my next video. Until next time, happy cooking.